It's very windy. The tide's on the turn, so it's coming in. So even in the next sort of twenty to half an hour the the waves will be splashing over and as you can see the lumps on the beach where the stones are don't stand in front of my camera you idiot Jesus get out of <laughs> oh, dear. as I was saying yeah so the tide's coming in quickly it's quite a fast tide um, I'll just wait until these silly people come out of the way. Breathe. Breathe in the air. Don't need to breathe. The wind just blows in your lungs. It's forced down. It is breezy out there. I've got to say. That is the English Channel, just so you know. And France is straight ahead. About, uh, what is it for me? It's about 60, 50, 60 mile, I think. I'll go near a 50 mile. Look, come out the way. Look, they've got the same coats, same hats. That's it, move on. Move along. Move along, don't blame you. The old, the other old fella sitting in the car, he ain't coming out. <laughs> Don't blame you. There's a lot of people, I, I have to say, there's quite a few people out again today. It's a popular place, this Seaford Seafront. Funny people. This is their little bit connecting with nature, I guess. So they drive down to the coast for the day. You obviously get your locals walking up and down with their doggies. But there are a lot of visitors and a lot you get a lot of students, foreign students, like the Chinese or or the German groups, that they tend to come when it's a little bit more warm and sunny. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the crowds are good. Can't stop selfie and look, selfie, selfie, look at me. I'm on my own by the sea. Oh, I'm so pretty, pretty me. Now take me home because I'm hungry. Yeah, there you go, dear. What are you doing? More selfies. Hello. Hello. Guess where I am? Yes, I'm right by the sea. And you can't hear me because the wind's blowing so loud in this microphone. I'll just pretend I'm making a phone call. Yeah, it weren't happening, was it? It's a load of nuts. God, the acting's getting worse, isn't it? Here he comes, Mr. Jogger. Jogger, jogger. Yeah. Wind, rain, snow. <laughs> They'll always come out. <laughs> it's cool though, isn't it? Living by the sea.
I love the clouds, I love the light, and they look like real clouds at the moment. Nimbulus. Oh, they're lovely little dogs. I do like them. They're gorgeous. Hello. Smile, you're on camera. <coughs> <coughs> And on that cough, I think I'll have a joint. Oh. So, much prefer to be here than sitting in a Sainsbury's car park because Sarah's gone shopping and it's a Morrison's we go to in Seafood. On a Sunday. Oh, ah. Don't mind me on a Sunday getting me pork chops and sausages. Oh, aye. Oh, heck. Is it trying to rain at me? Hold on. I'll try and clean the windscreen. Lovely. I was watching um, someone I know um, did a live stream playing with the AI art thing. I don't know if anyone's heard about that or seen it. Um, you type in certain things and it makes a picture. And do you know? And this is no uh, disrespect to the person doing the stream. But just me watching it for five minutes, I'm thinking, this has got to be one of the worst distractions there is. So, you can, you don't need this AI, and I use the term AI very loosely because I don't believe that AI exists and can exist. Um... I really don't. Everything's a program. So whatever it becomes, it's still a program. It's not alive. It's not really thinking for itself. It's working on a program. And I know people go, well, don't we do the same? Well, no, because there's a spirit and there's a soul and there's morals and there's so much more than just being able to interpret words um, to please a person from the perspective of AI anyway watching this art thing and it's like if you want a picture with a cloudy sky and lightning you've only got to type in on any search engine clouds with lightning and there you go there's your picture and yet this AI thing, it's, it's a distortion. It's a distortion of art, in my opinion. It's not art. Um, I know there's lots of interpretations of art. But, interp interpreted by humans, not AI. So all, all the programs doing if you're typing in something it's just giving you something close to what you want to see which is what you can do on a search engine so they're just repackaging well it's not even repackaging it it's just a distraction now this stream went on for a couple of hours i think and i'm thinking that's two hours of what typing in stuff just to bring a pitch up <laughs> and they you know for them they was really enjoying it and I'm like Ugh. I know it's just my perspective and but there's so much distraction 
it, they can't give you enough, can they? Online gaming, AI artwork, join the, you can join, you get credit. So it's trying to draw you into it. It's trying to suck you into this AI nonsense. It's, I, you know, I don't know much about it, but I, was, I picked up a little bit from what uh, someone was saying in chat. And you get credits and shit like that. It's like, get back to the f real world. Get back to reality. What's what I'm looking at now? There's your world outside, not behind a computer. And you will always make excuses why you do it. An excuse for this, an excuse for that. Oh, I'm not going to do this. I can't go out today because. And then you bring up a million excuses. Now look at this old fella walking past. When he got up this morning, I bet he weren't thinking, oh, what excuses can I make to go out in this lovely, beautiful place? No, he got up thinking, I can't wait to get out. Have a look at this beautiful place. Experience. Because that's what he's doing, he's experiencing it. It's a real memory, it's a real thing, thing. Anyway, that's enough of my rant. I'm not really ranting. Big love to you, Melody. Um, yes, Melody, we all love you. You give so much of yourself, um, and we're blessed that you do that. And, yeah, I just thought I'd say that. Keep on doing what you do, because we all love you. And David, if you actually watch this, you know I'm only messing about in chat with the banner tech. Although I'm pretty right though, ain't I? Like you're giving, selling me off to people. <laughs> selling me off. And you can't even run your own live stream. Properly. Yes, you run it, but You need to smoke more, Dave. But you know we love you. We really do. And I really missed your show. As much as I'm not, as you know, I'm not into the flat earth side of things. And um, as far as pushing it out there, and I have my own opinions on on this plane this realm that we're in and I agree with you I I think it's more than likely a realm and I think it's more than likely more than we could understand and I don't think I'm not saying we shouldn't try and understand it all what I'm saying is don't ex expend all your energy trying to suss it out because I think you miss out on living we're not here for long, are we? We really ain't. So live a little. Stop worrying about trying to get other people to see it from your perspective. Be you. Be the best you can be. On a lovely day. It's lovely, isn't it? The sun's coming out. That's what I'm saying with the light here, it changes all the time. I can't remember if it was Constable that moved to Sussex because he loved the way the light shifted and was in the winter, you know. But don't quote me on that, I don't know if it's Constable, it's one of them. <laughs> it's one of them. And it's been a while since I've said said things and, and like I said they're not rants it's just observations and my feelings you know I think I thank my friends for my music that people encouraged me to do it because I did I had so much doubt about 
my ability to learn an instrument. But I guess as you, you know, when it's something that you want, you tend to do it. When I was at school and pushed into shit, weren't interested. Don't force me into anything. But I'm doing the best I can and I'm enjoying it and that's what it's all about. And thank you everyone for your kindness. It's nice, isn't it? Just me and you sitting here watching the sea. Have you done that joint yet? No. Doing it just now. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? And I'll always drop a, a seed in conversation with people about things. But I'm certainly not going to push my thoughts and opinions on people. And if I see someone sort of open to talking with me, then sure, you know, I'll open it further where I'm where I'm working at the moment. Like the lady is so open to talking about stuff, and it's brilliant. It's refreshing, and I never, I only little hints, and and then her friend picked me up on the flat earth subject and. And I started talking, but I had to get back to work. And they said, oh, I could listen to this all day. Well, got to work. Doing your house up. <laughs> Sit here chatting. But, yeah, it's refreshing. But you don't have to, you know, I explain them. I say, it's just my, my take, how I see it. How I experience this realm. And... You know, I've got lots of reasons why I see things like I do. Especially with the spiritual side of things. With the orbs realm and all the captures and the, if you use the, their terminology of, um, I don't know. I don't like paranormal. I just think it's what's, it, it, what's here, it's not unnormal, it's normal, it's always been there. So, anyway, on that note, I'm going to end it here. If you've managed to listen to the end, well done. <laughs> and I hope you've enjoyed the view. The people walking past and, and all of that. So much love to everyone. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get the drone out at some point. Obviously it's too windy. Um, but I, I've got a lot of areas in mind that I want to film so I'll leave it there and uh, stay well stay positive and strong and don't let the bastards grind you down we love you all <laughs>